The current trend in UI libraries seems to be to make them copy pasteable so you have direct ownership of the code and you can go in and customize it however you want and it's really cool. Today I want to show you the coolest UI library I've seen that's going to teach you how to make animations to make your websites pop and really stand out. So here we go. It's called Aceternity UI and you'll see from that landing page you just have some really beautiful animations here and all of this you'll be able to copy and paste and get started in your website today even this squared background grid that you might have seen around us has been quite a trend lately and you've got things like this cursor effect you might have seen on sites like google sheets when you're working with someone else it will show you where that cursor is and cards that just have a small little hover effect which as i said it just draws attention and breathes a bit of life into these websites and again these cards sort of move around now we jump into the browse components bit here You'll see the installation. It's just got install Next.js, but I believe you could probably use this with any React application or React framework. But it's going to rely on Tailwind CSS, and it's also going to rely on Frame Emotion and some of the Tailwind sort of helpers that you'll see if you have used Shad CN. Now, if you don't know what Frame Emotion is, Frame Emotion is an animation library. It really helps with creating animations, so I highly recommend you check that out if you want a place to start. If you've always been thinking about how do you do animations within React. But this is going to be a really good place to start learning frame of motion as well. So let's jump into one of the first components here. You'll see a MacBook scroll. So as we scroll down, you'll see that that image will pop off of that MacBook there. And that's just a really cool way that we could, for example, show a product page. And now the amazing part is all we have to do is go down here. We can install some dependencies. So this is just installing the icon library. And as I said, it's got that Tailwind merge and frame of motion there. We add our util file, which if you have Shad CNUI, you'll be familiar with already. Couple things to your Tailwind config just to add some colors for, for it there. And then we can go ahead and just copy the source code here. So you can go ahead and just rip the source code out for that and put this straight into your application ready to use now. But the important thing I want to sort of add emphasis to is as you'll see here, this is called Google Gemini effect. And this is because this is what you'll see if you go on the Google Gemini page. Now, we don't necessarily want everyone copying and pasting this effect around the internet and just having essentially clones of the same effect everywhere. But the important thing of this that I think is really cool and that I'm going to take away from it is just learning how these were done within Frame of Motion. Because the Frame of Motion documentation is really good, but you may have seen some of these effects around and thought, wow, how, how would I do that? And we literally have the answer here. We can go in and see how they've done it. So we could create our own effects to however we want and just sort of learn how they have done some of these effects. But let's go ahead and see some of the other ones. So you've got this 3D card effect here, which I guess is cool, but <laughs> probably not very usable. You've got some sparkles here just underneath that header there to make your website really pop out. You've got some things like the background gradient here, and it has sort of that glowing effect, and it's sort of animating the gradient as it goes. You've got this spotlight that's going to come in and light up that, and then you can see that squared background there. And it's just got so many things like this with that hero parallax behind here. And you'll see these are actually all clickable elements as well. And again, as I said, all of this is copy and pasteable and built in frame of motion. We can go in and we can see how they did this and we could create an effect however we wanted it as well. So as I said, I'm taking this as a sort of a really good learning utility for how to create some of these effects. Now you see this card effect that you may have seen around. And as I said, there's just, there's so many of these. This one's really cool as well. You've got sort of, this would be used on some web three sites. You may have seen effects like this. You hover over and it looks all sort of cryptographic and it's just it's really cool. As I said, you'll see this animated tooltip, which again sort of makes it hard to read it. But you can, as I said, take this as a learning resource for if you were wanted to make something like this. And it's just got so many cool components. The list goes on and on and on. It is really cool. It's one of the best sort of tools out there or utilities I've seen for learning how to make actual sort of the frame of motion documentation is good. But this sort of teaches you how to apply frame of motion to your own websites and make them pop. As I said, frame of motion has some great documentation, but you'll see that it's all sort of with cubes and stuff. This is a really good way to show you how you can apply frame of motion into your own application to make them really pop like you may have seen from various other sites and marketing websites out there. Anyway, that's all I have time for. I hope you liked this UI library and check it out in the description down below. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. If you'd like to see a frame of motion tutorial, leave a comment down below or subscribe as well to see that when it comes out. Thank you very much for watching.